Hello, Andrew Eifert here with part four of my music advice series. Hopefully you've watched my first three videos, so I'm not going to cover a lot of that, although I will touch on it. But let's get right into it. First off, there are three levels of a music career. Now, obviously, there are varying degrees of all those levels, but uh, the basic overview is level one, the gigs that you are playing, you're playing between one and 200 people and you don't have a consistent turnout every time you show up. You probably don't have a very large email fan base and uh, you know, you're struggling to get gigs here and there, and people don't know your name. Level two, now that's an area that everyone should be striving for, and it's the first goal that you should be working for. You've done everything I've discussed in my first three videos. You have a manager. You have a huge following on Facebook. You have a few huge following on Instagram, and Chances are your email fan base is ridiculously large. And you're probably selling a lot of merchandise here and there that may or may not include recorded material, but it probably does. Level three, let's face it, you're getting radio play. You're playing in consistent rooms of 1,500 people or more to large stadiums, you know, you have a record deal. You're a real musician. <laughs> but let's talk about how you get there. It's important to understand marketing and proving to the record labels that you have what it takes to go up those next couple levels. And you do that by test marketing the nearest large population town you live near. Well, how do you do that? Well, number one, you're only going to play one gig a month in that town. Yeah, that's right. Maybe two. You can get away with two occasionally, but you don't want to burn out your fan base. So it's important you only play one or two gigs a month because you can spend all your time promoting those gigs as well as practicing your material for them. Another thing you need to do is you need to have four hours worth of music. Because you never know. You might roll into that gig and be the only musicians playing there all night long. And you need to be the band who can perform and make that happen. And that's usually going to be three to four hours worth of music. But four hours is better. So that's basically 40 songs. You know, with four sets of 10 songs. And, you know, there will be those gigs that you get at level one where you're backing someone up or you don't need to have a lot of time, that you're only playing maybe an hour set. Well, guess what? If you have four hours worth of music, you can deliver the best set that you have of those four hours of music. You know, another thing that you need to do to test market, you need to prove to the record companies, if you're looking for a record deal, that you can sell records at this level. So if you don't have a solid recording that you can sell, you're never going to make it to level two or level three. So, and you know what? That, that recording can be in a bunch of different forms. It can be a video, it can be a, you know, a download, it can be a CD, a cassette, if people are still buying, whatever. But you need something you can sell. And if you don't have that, it better be some t-shirts, hats, or bumper stickers. You need to be, sh you need to show the record companies that you can in fact sell something to your fan base. Because let's face it, product and selling that product is what is important to, 
you know, major label record companies. And test marketing is proving to those people that you can do that on some level. So that's what you should be really concentrating all your time on. Now, hopefully, you could get a little radio play at level one. And, you know, if you hopefully the largest population town you live has a, a university or a college that has a college radio station. My God, that's going to be huge if you can get your music in there. So it's good to uh, get in tight with a couple of local fraternities and stuff, and maybe they can put, you know, get you into that radio station that they most of the major universities have. So that's something to think about. Another thing, if you have some bucks laying around, and it might take a few bucks, is you can go to a commercial radio station and pay them to advertise one of your gigs. Hopefully in that, advertise, that advertisement, you can have a few short clips of some of your uh, songs. So you're actually paying the radio station to play a couple of your music, a couple of your music uh, uh, material that you have. So that's pretty much the basics of what I'm going for. But understand this. You're never going to make it to level two or level three if you don't have a plan, if you don't have any goals, if you don't have a path to go on. If you're just whipping up your guitar and stuff and going out and playing a gig, that's not a plan. That's just going through the motions. If you want to bring yourself to level two, which is where everyone really should be striving to hit, you know, it's going to take work. Being a musician is not, you know, an easy job until you get to level three. Level three, you've got roadies carrying all your shit. You got, you're staying in nice hotels or whatever, you know. But level two, you might have a tour bus you're going in. But uh, level one, most of your bandmates are rolling to your gigs in separate vehicles. You know, so... There's a huge difference between the two, three levels there. And, you know, everyone in your band has to understand what their role is in the plan to get there. Everyone needs a plan and a responsibility. Someone needs to be taking care of the social media pages. Someone needs to be, you know talking to uh, recording studios to get your records recorded. You know, there's uh, uh, thousands of different things each band member should be doing. But it pays to have a responsibility for each band member, and each band member knows their responsibility. Now, of course, you could have a manager who takes care of all that shit for you, but... You're not going to get a manager unless you have some recorded material. So it all goes back to the product, doesn't it? Anyway, that's just my two cents. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. Like this video. If you have any questions or any advice you're seeking, feel free to comment in the comment section of this video and I'll answer it as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Andrew Eifert signing out.